Major Slack Attack. Hey, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Resident 4 Remake Evil. Resident... When I, <laughs> I can't believe I bunged it up again. Uh, okay, I'm not even going to like rewind or anything. I'm just going to do it over again. I've been... I don't know why I've been bunging up the intro today. Okay. Hey, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Resident Evil 4 Remake. Okay, he's a learner. There we go. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and um, it's time for the dreaded Mendez boss fight. I absolutely hated this boss fight this morning, but now um, pretty much got it down. I'm going to show you two one-hit runs. I'm still <laughs> chasing after the elusive no-damage run. I don't think Mr. Fumblefingers is going to let me do it today. Yep, so Mr. Mumblemouth and Mr. Fumblefingers are in full force today. Um, let's sell off. Let's pick up these um, bullets over here. Welcome. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Sell that. Sell that. Sell the Velvet Blue. We'll save this for later. Now Not that I have any good magnificent plans for it, but I'm, you know, just... Um, Kind of doing this back ass swords. I've already recorded the boss fights, um, so now I'm just trying to reproduce what I did just before the boss fights because I have the stage just before the boss fights. And uh, what else? Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. The price, well, that's our choice to make. I think that's it because that's the exact amount of money I had. 32,332. So it looks like I didn't upgrade the... Oh, I know what I did. Crossing your T's, dotting your I's. Yeah. That's the way to be. I still have some new comeback. Anytime. That's it. All right. Scope on the rifle. And let me just load up a save where my inventory is much better organized. Okay, I have 30,492 30, pesetas and 9 spinels. So I think that's exactly what I did. This save right here. The inventory is nice and neat, but oh, I forgot to upgrade the knife. <laughs> so I actually did all those boss fights without the a fully repaired knife. How about that? Okay, well, you should repair the knife. Welcome. I've got something new for you, mate. Good as new. Pleasant travels. That's it. All right. So. I'm going to show you a number of different versions of the boss fight. Um, starting with a pistol only run. This is not a challenge. This was simply... I absolutely hated this boss fight when I first started doing it. Like this morning I just hated it. Now it's like no problem. Almost like, like I said, uh, almost no damage. Um, pretty much got it down. Uh, but this morning, uh, just to reduce the amount of decision making in the boss fight, I decided to go pistol only. Like I said, not a challenge. Just to kind of train myself to what you do during the boss fight you know different stages it goes through um mendez goes through and whatnot and what you have to do when so i just found a lot easier to just stick with the same weapon because i found that was the thing that was really screwing me up like you know use the shotgun now and use the pistol now and use the sniper rifle now and i always got my ass kicked when i was either swapping weapons or reloading a weapon or whatever so I decided to go pistol only just to get the hang of it. Once I got the hang of it, then I said, okay, now we're going to use the shotgun. Now we're going to use the sniper rifle. And almost got it down to a no damage run, but I'm running out of video production time. So I'm going to show you one, two, three different fights um, <clears throat> right now. Um, no commentary. I'll dub in the commentary. And I start right about this position here. All right. So that's it. Let's switch over to 
um, Gamer Slack and MC Dub Slack. We're going to walk you through the Mendes boss fight and show you three different versions. All right, here we go. Okay, here's the pistol only run. Once again, not a challenge, just um, getting accustomed to the boss fight. I strongly recommend that you do this if you're having problems with this fight. It'll reduce the amount of decision making. And I'm going to edit out all the cutscenes except for the final run. All right, so what you want to do is you want to get right up his ass. Run forward right away, get right up his ass, do five shots in this circle around and get up his ass again. Do five shots, circle around. The thing is, if you stay right close to him, you most of the time avoid him grabbing you. Okay? And if he does grab you, um, he'll like drop you further away. So just aim for his nuts as you're approaching. And see, I'm doing the same strategy again, trying to stay right behind him. And he's downed. Once he's downed, you get the chance to stab him. But I wouldn't stab him right away. Instead, shoot his eyeball five times and then stab him. Now I'm aiming for his nuts as I'm approaching, trying to get behind him. Get behind him. Same thing. Shoot his ass. Reloads. Try to stay behind him as you're reloading. Kind of missed there. Shoot his ass. Keep shooting his ass. Where's nuts? He grabbed me. So he's going to drop me further away. I'm going to do the same thing. Aim for his nuts as you're approaching. Okay, see I'm approaching? Aim for his nuts. This kind of staggers him <laughs> most of the time. Drops me further away. Aim for his nuts. And we got him into the second phase. And I'm going to skip the cutscene. In the second phase, he tends to hang back and he throws all kinds of crap at you. Mainly flaming planks. You got to dodge the flaming planks. He's winding up. Just straight to one side for both of them. So you get ready, straight to one side, and you'll miss both. So it's good to stay on one side or the other so you have room to dodge. And when he picks up the barrels, obviously just shoot the barrels to do a lot of damage. And if you don't have anything else to do, shoot his chest. And if he picks up both planks at once, not now, it's just one time you straight, straight. If he picks up both planks at once, they're going to cross, crisscross. That's a sucker plate. So you don't do anything when that happens. I'm going to show you that in a minute. This attack here, I should have ran forward. I missed. When he crosses his arm and he crosses his arms and he dive bombs, run forward all the way to the front. You usually you'll miss that. Here I'm doing it now. A little late there, Slack. <laughs> I downed him. Whenever you down him, aim for the eyeball on his back. Four or five shots, then stab him. Okay, don't stab him right away. You're wasting a good opportunity. Here come the flaming clang, strafe to one side. When you're doing that strafe, you should start like strafing a little bit. There's the double one. I'll talk about that in, in the next fight. There's the barrels again. Shoot the barrels for a lot of damage. There's nothing else to do. Shoot him in the chest. Here comes the the flaming clanks. Straight. Yeah, it's best to stick to one side or the other. That way you have room to strafe. And that's it. Pistol only. I believe this took me about 70 bullets. This is my best pistol only run. Alright, so now I'm going to take everything I've learned in the pistol only run and um, substitute the best weapons. So instead of the pistol, we're going to use the shotgun and give them a buckshot enema. <laughs> this is the buckshot enema. So get, right, get up close, right up his ass, three or four shots, try to stay right behind him. Nut shots or butt shots. And you're going to down him pretty quick. As soon as you down him, you may get locked in like I did like this. Aim the best you can for his eye. On the back of his on, on his back, right? And here I wasted time reloading, but I think I want to do that anyways. And then do the stabbing. Aim for the, the nuts as you're approaching, just kind of stagger him and then get around his butt. And there we go, second phase already. Now you want to switch over to the pistol, because this is the best thing to do when you have him at a range. Because you don't want him throwing those barrels at you. That's the best way to shoot the barrels. So now I'm going to start moving to the right a little bit and then run when he throws. Move to the left, run when he throws. That's the best way to avoid those flaming planks. He picks them up one at a time, you got to strafe to avoid them. 
when he picks up both at once, just don't do anything. Because they'll crisscross in the middle and they'll miss him. Shoot the barrels. And now I'm switching over to the sniper rifle because I know he's not going to pick up the barrels uh, for a while. So this is the best thing to do, do a lot of damage. Here he's picked up two. See that? Don't do anything, it's a sucker play. He wants you to panic. And here, like I said, if you run all the way forward, when you see him cross his arms, he's about to do the dive bombing attack. And whenever he's close like, close like this, take up the shotgun and just blast him. So aim for center mass, don't worry about it. There we go, that's it. That's a one hit run. Okay, here the goal is to record a good run with all the cutscenes left in. So um, I'm going to let the cutscenes play. And this was also a one hit run of so close to a no damage run. Okay, so I'm going to let the opening cutscene play. Cease your pointless struggling. Abandon your body to the will of our God. You're a shitty missionary. You know that. Oh, Almighty. Grant me the strength to crush your enemies. Son of a bitch. Ashley, run! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not the best idea in retrospect, there, Leon. God, Set the entire place I on fire. Thank you for your gift. You want to get ugly? Let's get ugly. Okay, shotgun, get behind him, get right up the butt, buckshot anima. So try to stay right behind him. And they downed him. And I got a good clear shot of the eyeball on the back of his head, but they decided to reload. And then I got nervous he might get out of it before I got the knife in, so I just stabbed him. Aim for the nuts as they approach and get behind him. And first phase. Down. And at this point, you always want to switch the pistol and get ready for the barrels. Here come the flaming planks. He picked them up one at a time because you have to strafe to avoid them. I'm sticking to one side or the other. Give me, give me lots of room to strafe. Pop off a couple shots in the chest. He picked them up one at a time, so you have to strafe. Move in the direction you want to go and then sprint at the last minute when he starts throwing them. Here comes the double. It's a sucker plate. Don't do anything. See how that? They, they completely miss you. He picks them up both at once. Don't do anything. Just stand in the middle. And they'll miss you. And he's shooting at the chest. And he's getting close. When he gets close like that, just keep shooting him. And I managed to do the evade. I'm like really not very good at that. And here, I loaded up an empty shotgun. So, this is when things started falling apart. I can't believe I managed to avoid him all this time. So back to the pistol. And I downed him. Unbelievably. He's going to jam in a whole bunch of shots with the sniper rifle. This was a good decision. Even though I'm at very close range. This is going to do the most damage. So three sniper rifle shots on the eyeball. And then here is where I'm so pissed off. I switched to the sniper rifle. I should have used the pistol. Because he's eventually going to pick up the barrels. And I'm going to let. Listen to Gamer Slack. Damn it! Because <laughs> I, knew I, I knew I screwed it up. I said, What the. Why did I not switch to the pistol? I would have had a no damage run. 
I always switch to the sniper rifle after he throws the barrels, or after he picks up the barrels and you blow him. Because you know he's not going to pick up the barrels for a while. Yeah, so close to a no damage run. You, you heard gamer slap here. Right? Damn it! <laughs> Anyways. Just ignore that you have plenty of time to loot. There's no like, you know, urgency whatsoever. Which is why I don't bother looting anything in the like, you know, during the fight. Unless you really need the loot. Make sure you grab this, that's worth twelve thousand twelve thousand pesetas. When I'm in gamer slack mode, um, my recording software is still recording the microphone on my headset, but I just simply don't have the headset on. It's actually hanging off the side of my desk. So it's actually picking up anything that I might happen to say while gamer slack is gaming. So occasionally, you know, there's the odd expletive, as you, as you can see. <laughs> I decided to delete that and usually I just delete that whole track and then I just dub in the commentary. And as far as um I did this fight yesterday. Um all I wanted to do was just um go through the fight without any regard to how much ammo I spent and I beat him first time no problem I said okay so this morning I was like you know okay now I'm really gonna work on a reliable strategy you know for for a video and that then that's when it was it's getting really frustrating because what I was doing this morning was I was staying up on the mezzanine where I am right now and I've eventually discovered this this is the worst place to fight him I always thought that this would be the best place, but I, I seem to remember in the original, it was always best to get up in the mezzanine. But um, eventually I discovered it's way better to stay on the ground floor. So now exclu I stay exclusively on the ground floor. It works way better. And see, now I'm almost at a no damage run on the ground floor. And here's Gamer Slack pondering how to fit in these 25 bullets because he's so loaded for bear because he didn't I didn't even have to take a health I didn't even have to take any herbs or anything so eventually I'm just going to eat that that loose green herb to make room which I hate doing but uh, I don't have any chicken eggs or anything so If you do stay on the mezzanine to do this fight, be prepared for a lot of parrying and a lot of like QTEs, like those evade quick time events kind of thing. A lot of that. And there's this one spinny attack where he winds himself up and then he just spins around like a whirly gig. It's a real pain in the ass. I still haven't figured out how to do that, how to avoid that. The only thing I could think of for that is just simply jump down to the bottom floor, which is what I ended up doing sometimes when he did that. Whenever I saw him winding up and doing that really giga attack, I simply jumped down to the bottom floor. Leon, and that's it, so I got everything. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. Fire's bound to catch their attention. Let's keep moving. Uh, Leon, I'm not gonna turn into one of them, right? I won't let that happen. I promise. That's just curiosity, idle curiosity. 
So that's it. There's just one treasure to get on the way, and that will bring us to the end of the chapter. With me. Okay. I'd like to remind everybody that uh, these walkthrough videos, these real walkthrough, walkthrough videos, take a lot of time and effort to produce. I really appreciate it if you. Uh, want to keep real walkthroughs alive pause the video go down to the video description and click on my patreon link and go over to my patreon page and consider making a small donation you can donate as little as one dollar to help keep real walkthroughs alive all right thanks a lot i really appreciate it what's going on Well, at least we don't have to worry about being followed. Come on. And we are done here. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Major Slack, and I approve this video if you do too. Please give me a thumbs up, post a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. All right, see you next time.